11 strange eggs. Number 11, killdeer eggs. Killdeer are medium-sized shorebirds found across the Western Hemisphere and usually prefer fields or meadows during nesting season. The patterns on the eggs blend in well with the stones as you see in the picture here. It's thought the patterns can serve as camouflage, fooling predators into thinking the eggs are actually stones, rocks, or some other part of the landscape. FYI, despite its name, the bird doesn't actually kill deer. It's named for its distress call, which eerily sounds like it's saying, kill deer. Number 10, yellow-headed jawfish eggs, also called oral incubation. Mouth brooding is the way some animals care for their offspring by holding them in the mouth of the parent for extended periods of time. Fish are the most diverse group of mouth brooders by far. The yellow-headed jawfish tends to swap parental duties a bit. The male is the mouth brooder in this species. The father fish has his mouth crammed full of scores of his offspring, as you can see in these pictures by Dr. Peter Allison. The male fish will keep protective watch over the eggs until they hatch. Yellow-headed jawfish are native to coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea, often found at depths over 130 feet. Usually, these fish are rarely seen away from the burrows. Even when they stay home, you typically see little more than their heads and upper bodies protruding. While serving parental mouth brooding duties, the father can't feed and will be underweight when the eggs hatch. Now when that happy day finally arrives, the father will take some time off to eat and recuperate. Number 9. Naked Eggs In a story reported in the Daily Mail in 2013, a Reddit user claimed that his chicken laid an egg without a shell, as you'll see in these pictures by Lachlan Hibbert Wells. Known as naked eggs, they're thought to occur in no more than 6% of all eggs laid. The egg in question seemed to form the beginnings of a shell on its left side, while the right side had scratches, said to have been left by the chicken. Many commenters said there are various ways to create naked eggs, including soaking the egg overnight in white vinegar. Others say it's not an unusual occurrence at all. What do you think? Was it all just a big yolk? Number 8. Emu eggs. Native to Australia, emus are the second largest bird by height, measuring over six feet. Only its relative, the ostrich, is bigger. But if it's any consolation, the emu is still the biggest bird native to Oz. It's actually the female of the species that courts the male. Once the female lays her eggs, the male will sit and incubate the clutch of eggs, which could number between 10 and 20. The male maintains this role for the next eight weeks only standing to turn the eggs up to 10 times each day. The distinctively colored eggs can measure over five inches long and weigh almost one and a half pounds. Because of their unique look, emu eggs are often emptied and used for various arts and crafts. The eggs have become something of a delicacy item as well, selling for the equivalent of 31 US dollars at various locations in the UK. Does that price crack you up? Number seven. Frog spawn. When several frogs' eggs are clumped together, they're known as frog spawn, which would make a great title for a horror movie. The embryos of these amphibians are usually coated with several layers of gelatinous material, giving them a slimy, gooey appearance. But that material protects and supports the frog spawn, allowing oxygen, ammonia, and carbon dioxide to pass through. Because most eggs are dark brown or black, they can absorb heat from the sun, which is retained by the insulating capsule. Females lay thousands of eggs each year, but predators, along with various amphibian diseases, will ensure that only a small percentage of tadpoles ever reach adulthood. Number six. Vietnamese giant walking stick. This is a relatively new species of stick insect, measuring 228 millimeters long. Can you believe an insect that size comes out of a bullet-shaped egg like this? These eggs, they kind of look like a video game joystick or perhaps a piece of modern art. The eggs measure only 5.2 millimeters long, 3.7 millimeters high, and 2.7 millimeters wide. Newly hatched nymphs can measure up to 25 millimeters long. Their coloring and unique body shape makes these insects masters of disguise and they were named one of the top 10 species discovered in 2014. It's native to Vietnam and is commonly found in the town of Tam Dao. Number five, 
Clownfish eggs. Many people might know these creatures best from the films Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Clownfish are also known as anemone fish, and their family is comprised of 30 species. In these photos from David Lepestri, you can see the eggs have a very unique appearance, looking a bit like metallic eyes or beads placed within a gelatinous capsule. Females can lay thousands of eggs depending on the species. The male parent assumes guard duty over the eggs until they hatch up to 10 days later. The distinctive looking clownfish is native to warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Number four. Hibiscus Harlequin Bug Eggs. Fancy a bunch of grapes? Well, think twice before grabbing at that fruit. What you see are actually the eggs of the Hibiscus Harlequin Bug, which, as you might surmise from their name, have a taste for hibiscus plants. The shape here can fool many people into thinking they're actually looking at some sort of grape. But although you see a stem in this photo by TJB, it's a plant stem where the mother bug leaves her eggs during early summer. These insects are identified by their rounded shield shape and bright metallic coloring and live in New Guinea, eastern and northern Australia, and several Pacific Islands. Number 3. BMSM eggs, formerly known as the brown marmorated stink bug or BMSM, the stink bug is found in Japan, China and Taiwan and is viewed as an agricultural pest wherever they appear. But they sure do produce some pretty cool eggs, right? Check out these pictures from photographer Mikhail Gribkov. Looking at those rows of little smiling jolly green faces might make you smile as well, but stepping on these eggs would turn your smile upside down. The insects can produce a vile smell similar to the stench of rotting garbage. Well, they are called stink bugs for a reason. Number two, spined soldier bug eggs. The name might actually be scarier than the creature itself. These insects are known to prey on gypsy moth caterpillars and the larvae of beetles. Common in North America, they're actually viewed as beneficial garden insects because they also prey on other insects such as the bean beetle, which is regarded as an agricultural pest. The formidable looking eggs of the soldier bug somewhat resemble tiny metallic mines, don't they? Those spines discourage predators from biting into the eggs and no doubt it is an effective deterrent. Number one, Cecilian eggs. At first glance, it looks like an eyeball. Closer inspection shows that it's actually an egg. Cecilians are a group of serpentine amphibians with no limbs, and it would seem no eyes. In fact, the name Cecilians is Latin for the blind ones. Actually, they do have eyes, but they're very small, and the vision is limited to the perception of light and dark. Smaller members of this group resemble worms, while larger species resemble snakes, growing up to five feet long. While they're known to come in a variety of colors, the skin is usually dark and very smooth, and is able to secrete toxins that serve to discourage predators. About a quarter of the 200 species lay eggs, which are guarded by the female, but 75% of the animals give birth to offspring already developed, and in some species, the young are fed by using the teeth to scrape an outer layer of skin formed by the mother, which is rich in fats and other nutrients. This allows the offspring to grow nearly 10 times their own body weight within a week. Cecilians are usually found in tropical areas of Central and South America, Africa, and Southern Asia.